Hey what is up guys, I'm back once again for just a quick video tonight. I just received my iPhone 10 case in the mail this evening, and I understand this video is just a little bit late, but in anticipation for the iPhone 10 tomorrow morning, I'm doing this unboxing of the iPhone 10 case this evening so we can kind of get an idea of how big the device is going to be compared to the iPhone 8 and 8 plus sizes. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump right into this video. As you can see by the name denoted on the case itself as well as the top left camera cutout, this is the iPhone X silicone case and it is the white edition. And when taking a closer look at the back, you can see that it says iPhone X silicone case and it has a little bit extra product information down below. Taking a look at the side of the case, we have the elongated side button for the iPhone X. And if we take a look on the opposite side of the case, we have the two volume rocker buttons as well as the cutout for the vibration and silent toggle. Now, I absolutely love the silicone cases for the iPhones as they're very rubbery and firm and easy to grasp in your hand. And on the inside, you actually have a microfilament that keeps the iPhone Phone very clean and prevents scratches. Now to open this guy you just start peeling from the top right denoted by the green arrow and there's actually an area in the top right that is not sticky at all so you can easily peel this guy away without having to get a pair of scissors to open this up. You can just keep peeling around the edges until you can get the case out and it looks like here I got a little bit at the bottom that I didn't peel off so I'm gonna get rid of that real fast and uh, hopefully we can get into this case. All right. All right, now that we have the iPhone X casing out of its outer boxing, I can tell you guys it looks absolutely fantastic. It looks just like all the iPhone 8 and previous model silicone cases, but I'm absolutely excited to see what this guy looks like with the device in it. I personally like the white cases, but this comes in a variety of color options as well, so this is not the only color. But as you'll see later in this video, I actually have a very light silicone case for my iPhone 8, and I've managed to keep that pretty clean, so that's why I went ahead and went with the white color option here. Anyway guys, that's a first look at the iPhone X's case. Now, the most important part of the video in my opinion, I really wanted to take a look at this guy and compare it to my iPhone 8 case, as well as the other devices just in general. So taking a look at my iPhone 6, I just really wanted to use this as a reference for the size. You can see the iPhone 10 case is actually slightly bigger than the regular sized 4.7 inch iPhone. Now, as first impressions go, I was actually pretty disappointed at the size of the iPhone 10. I thought it would be just a little bit bigger compared to the original sized iPhone. But I have to keep in mind that the entire front of this guy is going to be just display. So that might make up for the size of it. Taking a look at the sides again, you can see that the sides are pretty similar. The volume buttons are roughly the same exact size. The cutout for the vibration toggle is the same size, but where it starts to differentiate itself is on the other side. Instead of having the power button for the older devices, we now have the elongated side button on the 10. So as far as first impressions go, I really think it's going to take some getting used to coming from a plus size iPhone to the size of the iPhone 10. That being said, the size of the screen being a 5.8 inch display is actually larger than the 5.5 inch display found on the plus size models. When comparing the case to one of the plus size iPhones here on the left, you can see that the case is actually much smaller than the entirety of the iPhone 8 Plus. But when I remembered that the entire front of the iPhone 10 is a display, I noticed that the width is going to be roughly the same size as the plus size models, but the display itself is going to be a little bit taller. The larger length in the screen is obviously to accommodate for the status bar, as well as the gesture icon at the bottom of the display. The very last comparison that I wanted to make is between the iPhone 10 case as well as the iPhone 8 Plus case. Now since all I have at my disposal tonight is the actual case for the iPhone 10 and not the device itself, I figured this might be a closer comparison to the actual sizes. Here we have the iPhone 10 case on the left and the iPhone 8 Plus case on the right. Like I was saying earlier in my videos, the screen is actually bigger on the iPhone X, but the device is much, much smaller than I actually anticipated, and even after seeing the size of it on Apple's website, it is a lot closer in size to the regular sized iPhone than that of the plus sized model. Anyway guys, I hope this hands-on comparison of taking a look at the iPhone X case and comparing it to the plus size and regular sized iPhones was insightful and helpful. Stay tuned as tomorrow we will be receiving our iPhone 10 in silver and we'll be doing a hands-on unboxing video of that as well. 
Anyway, guys, don't miss out on that video as well as future iPhone 10 videos to come. So please subscribe to our channel. I really appreciate the support. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button before you head out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching. And until next time, this is Tony signing out.